Old school, baby. Please believe that. Crush grooving. Body moving. Crush grooving. Body moving. You know, how, how your earlier experiences really culminated in this film, because it sounds like this film was more than just a movie that you made. Um, it sounds like you pulled a lot more together, or this film has a much deeper meaning to you, for example, than, than Crush Group might have. I think that this film um, characterizes the beginning of an era. I mean, in many respects, Crush Group characterized the beginning of an era. I mean, it's interesting when you think about Crush Groove, um, Bobby Brown was mm -hmm. a member of New Edition. LL Cool J was a, uh, an unknown rap artist. The Beastie Boys came out of Crush Groove. Um, the true. Fat Boys came out of Crush That's Groove. True. Run DMC. Blair Underwood. Um, Blair Underwood came out of Crush Groove. Mm -hmm. uh, I Sheila think, E. Yeah, Sheila E, although she had gotten Some real exposure the, the previous summer through Prince and, you know, the whole uh, Glamorous glamorous Life uh, video and, and her first album. But when you think about Crush Groove, in many, many respects, um, the film was very underrated in terms of the talent that came out of that film. The movie was about Russell Simmons, essentially, and his struggle to become a, a, a record entrepreneur. And everybody mm -hmm. in the entertainment business is now very familiar with Def Jam and, and, and the success that that became. And I think that, you know, Crush Groove will certainly always have a special relationship in, in, in my life because it's where my film career as a producer began. And uh, it gave birth to a lot of talent. And it really, in many respects, gave birth to a musical movement um, that has since become very mainstream and very established. So Crush Groove was the beginning of an era, and this film. In a, in a similar fashion as the beginning of another era. This is, in, 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 in my opinion, in the opinion of my, my partner, Doug McHenry, a, uh, a real legitimate, dramatic picture that works on all of the levels that one would come to expect from a, a mainstream piece of entertainment. What's different about this movie is the perspective of the storytelling. Um, this is an African-American story that is told from a very unique perspective and um, but yet still quality is not compromised because of the storytelling. Um, the movie delivers full entertainment values in terms of action, in terms of music, and in terms of dra dramatic performances. But the perspective is a uniquely African-American one. It's, and that is not to say that the film is just about African-Americans. There's a very powerful uh, scene in the film in which Judd Nelson, who's a charter member of the Brat Pack, mm -hmm. uh, says to Ice-T that the problem with the particular issue that we're talk talking about and that the film deals with, he says the problem with this X thing in America is that it's not a black thing, it's not a white thing, it's a death thing. And death doesn't give a shit what color you are. And um, I think that, you know, it's it's interesting and ironic all at the same time that we've got a, uh, an actor like Judd Nelson espousing those kind of sentiments in our film that is really a film that's told from our perspective. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we're very proud of the accomplishment. And Crush Groove was, you know, in, in, in every respect, prepared us for all the enormous production challenges and storytelling challenges and talent coordination challenges that we were faced with in, 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 in putting this film together. Mm -hmm.